welcome back friends we are talking about antigen antibody interactions now in this video I'm going to talk about a very important uh, concept about the antigen antibody interaction it is called the antigen antibody uh, ratio right so it's a ratio of antigen is to antibody and this is very very important why because we are going to see for uh, the purpose of interaction and that's fate of the antigen antibody interaction because in all these directions the fate of antigen antibody interactions so let me write it here antigen antibody interaction it is having a pure fate the fate is of two different kind either it is agglutination or it is precipitation these are the two different fate of antigen antibody interaction which uh, which goes by antigen antibody complex so whenever they produce this antigen antibody complex they can end up with two different either agglutination or the precipitation now if this complex if this antigen is a particle particle type then agglutination happens or occurs then it is uh, if it is a soluble type then precipitation occurs okay now for this kind of antigen and antibody complex formation the ratio at the concentration of antigen and antibody is very very important now again depending upon this thought that the concentration of antigen and antibody because we are talking about simple uh, kind of reaction and the reaction is antigen is provided antibody is provided what they can produce simply uh, is antigen antibody complex now for this formation the concentration of antigen antibody complex so let me write it here complex for the formation of this antigen antibody complex two things are required concentration of antigen and concentration of antibody to get this concentration of antigen antibody right now the concentration of antigen can be high it can be low this can be a possibility so it's a possibility one to get antigen antibody complex if the concentration of antigen is high antibody is low can we get antigen antibody complex answer is yes we can get we can get but the complex will be weak so let me write it little below if it is high it is low because this is the situation one we get a pretty weak complex but we get a complex if we are having less antigen and high antibody can you get a complex yes we also get a complex which can be also weak which will be weak the third kind if both the concentration are equal that means either both of them are up or both of them are less that means both of them are having equal concentration so that means concentration is equal in those condition the antigen antibody complex formation will be strong because the number of antibodies and number of antigens interacting will be of optimum type or of optimum concentration that is very very important for antigen antibody interaction okay now if we imagine this situation higher antigens less antibody what will happen so suppose this is our antigen so let me draw uh, the structure for that so if if you're talking about this number one scenario then say this these things are the antigens right so this is an antigen this is an antigen this is an antigen there are a lot of antigen and there are few uh, so there are a lot of antigen few antibodies so what we get is so let me think this is the antibody red thing is the antibody here it is the antibody and here it is here we have another antigen so we are having getting something like that less antibody higher antigen concentration now if you look for the scenario 2 what will happen now this red thing is a let me write it this is antibody and these are antigens okay now these dots are not a part of antigen I'm just creating it that way it is showing that all antigens are making complex like structure because antigens uh, can have a kind of interaction between themselves uh, little kind of interactions anyways now in the second scenario if we are having less amount of antigen and high concentration of antibody then what will happen we have a lot of antibody right so a lot of antibodies so this is say or antigen and we are having huge amount of antibody 
for example so huge amount of antibody like that so high concentration of antibody less amount of a less concentration of antigen now if both the things are equal so the third kind if the concentration of antigen and antibody are equal then what we can get what we can possibly get is structure something like this so let me draw here it is so here it will be another and so let me draw it so here it will be so what it can produce a matrix like structure which it can produce is simply called as antigen antibody lattice so because it is providing the structure like a lattice so it produces antigen antibody lattice if we are having equal concentration here if we are having concentration of antigen is very very greater than concentration of antibody and here if you are having concentration of antibody is greater than concentration of anti uh, sorry antigen right so these are the scenarios but if we are having the concentration of antigen equals to the concentration of antibody we get this result formation of antigen antibody lattice okay so this thing is really important Whenever we are talking about agglutination or precipitation and everything, we need to be careful that the concentration is playing a crucial role of all cases. Another important concept I forgot to mention in the introductory video is that the mode of interaction and the type of interaction that are there between the antigen and antibody. What kind of bonding, what kind of interaction they are having? Are they having any kind of covalent interaction? Answer is no. They never have any kind of covalent interaction. You cannot find a kind of covalent interaction between them. The interaction they can have is simply kind of say ionic interaction. They can be hydrophobic interaction, hydrogen bonding and this kind of interaction. So hydrogen bonding, there should not be any covalent. So they can have hydrogen bonding. They can have ionic bonding. They can have hydrophobic interactions also. But they cannot have they should not have any kind of covalent interaction. This is also telling us another truth about the antigen antibody complex is that it is reversible. So I am making the sign again. Remember this is reversible in nature. If the interaction of antigen and antibody is a kind of covalent interaction, this cannot be possible. They cannot go back to the antigen antibody form from the antigen antibody complex. But we know that the antigen antibody complex can be broken down again into antigen and antibodies. They can be only possible that if they are having this kind of interaction but not having any covalent. Okay, so that's the important fact. Okay, so this is the basic view of uh, the, the mode of interaction between themselves and the concentration which is playing a crucial role. Okay. So that's it. In the next video, we'll be looking at how to use this antigen antibody interactions in a very basic manner to understand the concentration and to get the concentration of a kind of antigen present in your blood due to any kind of infection. Okay, so that's it. And I hope that's helpful. Thank you.